Hi guys, today we'll be solving two more questions in the area of trim problems as part of the advanced shape stability subject. Uh, I will give you the links to the previous two parts uh, in the description section below. This is part three and today we'll be solving two different set of questions so that you get uh, used to practicing different kind of questions and you're able to solve these questions if you are given these questions in the exam. All right, so let's start with question number one. So in question number one, a ship's length between perpendicular is 200 meters. The moment to change trim or MCTC is 300. The tons per centimeter immersion or TPC is 35. And the position of the center of flotation from the midships denoted by HF is five meters aft of midships. So H denotes the position of the midships and F denotes the position of the center of flotation about which the ship pivots. So the position of the center of flotation from the midships is given as 5 meters aft. The ship's initial drafts are 7 meters forward and 11 meters aft. You have to firstly calculate the present hydrostatic draft of the ship. After you do that, you are told that space is available for loading in number 1 lower hold and in number 4 lower hold. The center of gravity of these positions from the midships are also provided to you as 80 meters forward and 30 meters aft respectively. H always denotes the position of the midships. So you have to secondly calculate how much cargo you can put in each of these two spaces in order to finish at a hydrostatic draft of 9.6 meters trimmed 2 meters by the stern. And finally you have to find the final drafts forward and aft after the cargo operations are over. So let's start with the solution. So before you start with the solution, make a rough drawing of what you think is the current situation based on the information given to you in the question. Just like I have shown in the diagram on your screen. So you can see that I've drawn a ship, try to indicate the drafts forward and aft as seven meters and 11 meters. So that is the distance from the water line to the keel of the ship. The midship is indicated by the letter H at exactly half of the length of the ship. So if the length of the ship is 200 meters in this case, at 100 meters from half perpendicular and 100 meters from the forward perpendicular, I've drawn the midship. I've also drawn the two positions where the cargo can be loaded and denoted them as W1 and W2. And their center of gravity from the midships is also highlighted. Finally, the position of the center of flotation from the midships is denoted by the letter F is five meters aft and that would put the center of rotation at about uh, 95 meters from the aft perpendicular right because the midship position is 100 meters center of rotation is 5 meters aft of midships so from aft perpendicular it will be 100 minus 5 which is 95 so the first thing that you do is calculate your initial trim based on the initial drafts given to you as 11 meters minus 7 meters 4 meters by stern then you write down your initial drafts as 7 meters and 11 meters. Then the first thing that you calculate is your hydrostatic draft. And you do that by applying a correction to your aft draft of 11 meters. The correction is the total trim, which is 4 meters in this case, multiplied by the position of the center of rotation from the aft perpendicular, which is AF, as 95 meters as highlighted before, divided by the length between perpendicular 200 meters given to us in the question. This would result in 11 minus 1.90, which is equal to 9.10. So this is your hydrostatic, initial hydrostatic draft. That's the first part of this question. Pretty simple, straightforward. The correction remains the same. However, you need to finish with a hydrostatic draft of 9.6 meters after the cargo operations are over. And additionally, you also need a change in the trim by so you need to finish by two meters by stern but you are currently four meters by stern so to do that you have to pivot your ship four meters minus two meters that is two meters by head or 200 centimeters by head because your ship is initially pivoted by stern so your ship is trimmed by stern four meters currently but you need the ship to trim two meters by stern so that means you need to bring the aft part of the ship by two meters so you need to dip the forward part of the ship by two meters so that's why the change in the trim is required two meters by head so the cargo to load would in this case be the sinkage required 
that is 9.6 meters minus 9.1 meters that's the sink is required so your initial your current hydrostatic draft minus the hydrostatic draft required multiplied by TPC multiplied by 100 which will give you a cargo to load at 17.50 tons so this is the cargo available for you to load and you need to load this in two spaces which is available to you number one and number four load hold all right so in that case because you have to put in more weight in the forward part of the ship to trim the ship by forward let's assume that the weights that you would be loading is w and 1750 minus w which is the remaining weight so let's say you have to load 1750 minus w in the forward part of the ship so the cargo hold distance from the center of flotation is about 85 meters so you can see in the diagram here the forward cargo hold which is the number one lower hold if the center of gravity is 80 meters forward of the midships its distance from the center of rotation would be 80 plus 5 meters 85 meters all right so that is the one you have to consider so you multiply these two and you get the trimming moment by head if you have to load a weight of w in the aft part of the ship the aft cargo hold which is number four lower hold as you can see the distance of the lower hold number four lower hold from the center of rotation is about 25 meters so 30 minus 5 meters so you have to see where the cargo holds are located with respect to the center of rotation because that's the trimming moment that's the moment about which or that's the point about which the ship will trim so calculate the trimming moment by stern all right so once you multiply these two you get trimming moment by head and trimming moment by stern because in one the cargo hold is located in the forward part of the ship that will give you the trimming moment by head and in the other the cargo hold is located in the aft part of the ship which will give you the trimming moment by stern so your resultant trimming moment will be trimming moment by head which is this part here minus trimming moment by stern but your trimming moment is also the moment to change trim by one centimeter which is mctc multiplied by the trim required which is 200 centimeters so the trim required that you have calculated above here all right so you need to you need this trim so that is the trimming moment required and for every centimeters your mctc is of course 300 so 300 multiplied by 200 will give you a trimming moment of 60,000 all right so therefore if both are trimming moments then trimming moment of 60,000 will be equal to the trimming moment that you have calculated based on the cargo loading all right so this trimming moment here and this trimming moment here become equal so then you can solve the equation keep your knowns to one side take your unknowns to the other so of course I have taken this here so 60,000 minus 148750 equals minus 1110 W or you can take both the uh, figures with the W on one side and bring 60,000 on the other it doesn't matter it's the same thing then of course you will get a negative answer which becomes positive in both the cases because both sides are negative so that will give you a W of 806.8 tons alright and then that is to be loaded aft of the center of rotation in number four lower hold so in number four lower hold this is what you will be loading so if you have found w then you can find how much cargo to be loaded in the forward part by subtracting w from 1750 which is the total weight available to you for loading so 1750 minus 806.8 tons will give you 943.2 tons and that is to be loaded forward of the center of rotation in number one lower hold all right so you have found out how much weight you can load in both the cases as well then we move on to question number two in question number two the ship's length between perpendicular is 130 meters the mctc is 175 
the initial drafts are 7.2 forward and 7.8 aft. 1600 tons of cargo is available for you to load in number 2 lower hold. The center of gravity is 30 meters forward of midships. And 1400 tons in number 5 lower hold. The center of gravity is 55 meters aft of midships. The drafts after the loading operations finished were found to be 7.8 forward and 10.4 aft. You have to find the position of the center of rotation from the midships. So this is a different kind of a question here. The initial and the after final drafts are given to you. The cargo available to load is also given to you. You have to find the position of the center of rotation from the midships. So again, I have drawn a diagram which indicates the present condition of the ship and what is required to be done to find the center of rotation. Alright, so I will not take you through the diagram because you already know what each of them stand for. So you can see I have indicated the position of the two cargo holes as number 2 and number 5 and provided their distance from the center of, uh, from the midships. So let's start with the solution. So you have been given the initial drafts as well as the final drafts. So your initial trim from the initial draft is 0.6 meters per stern and the final draft or the final trim is 2.6 meters per stern. That means there was a change in the trim by 2.6 minus 0 0.6, 2 meters per stern. So the ship trimmed more, 2 meters more by stern after the cargo operations finished, which is 200 centimeters. Therefore, the trimming moment in this case would be 200, which is the change in the trim, multiplied by the MCTC which is 35,000. Now let's assume the center of rotation is located x meters forward of the midships. In that case, the weight available or weight loaded was 1600 and 1400. So 1600 was loaded in the number 2 lower hold, the distance of which is 30 minus x if you look at the diagram from the center of rotation so if the center of rotation is located forward of the midships this would be this distance would be 30 minus x and this distance of the cargo hold would be 55 plus x right if you see the figure so we have loaded 1600 in number 2 and 1400 in number 5 lower cargo hold so we'll multiply each of these to get the trimming moment so when we are loading 1600 in the forward, we are getting a trimming moment by head and when we are loading 1400 in the aft cargo hold or number 5 cargo hold, we are getting trimming moment by stern. So multiply 1600 by 30 as well as 1600 by x and that's why you get 48000 minus 1600 x. Similarly 1400 multiplied by 55 gives you 77000 and 1400 multiplied by x gives you 1400 x. So the resultant trimming moment would be this equals to the difference between these two. So therefore, trimming moment by head minus trimming moment by stern or vice versa sorry because that was the bigger number. So we've got, I'll change that just in case you guys don't get confused. So trimming moment by stern because this I can see is the bigger number 77,000 minus trimming moment by head gives you the total final trimming moment of 35,000 tons which actually led to a change in the trim of 200 centimeters by stern solve the equations and find out where x is All right. so x you can see is if you solve the equation with 2 meters forward of the midships you could have done the same by putting the center of rotation aft in that case you would have got a negative answer and you would have known that the center of rotation must be aft so either or you would have figured it out All right. So I hope these two questions were uh, a bit different from what you have seen in the previous examples and I am just trying to take different examples here so that uh, you get used to solving different kind of questions in the area of trim calculations. Uh, let me know if there is anything that you want me to cover in specific. Uh, I plan to put up some questions regarding shearing forces and bending moments as well in the future videos. So I will see you soon with my next video. Study hard and all the best with your studies guys.